As voters head to polling places here in Minnesota, they've got a lot to decide on. A governor's race, two Senate races, and four highly competitive U.S. House races. It's a lot on their plate, and most Minnesotans we talked to said they're taking that responsibility seriously. Do you follow what's going on? Yes. Are you voting? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I gotta be a good citizen. Whether born out of a sense of civic duty. Mostly because my econ professor told us we had to. Or just prodding from a professor. Voters we met across the state, by and large, tell us they are heading to the polls. If you don't, then you really have no right to say anything. Those types of responses here in Minnesota are no surprise. The state regularly leads the nation when it comes to voter turnout. But even here, we found a few people who said voting is just not for them. And we asked them why. I just don't believe in politics. I don't think they will make any difference. You know, I, I work hard and then still pay more taxes and things just never changes. So I really don't believe it will make a difference. I don't know anything going on with politics right now. I honestly don't know enough about the polls to even have an honest opinion on voting. Except there is still time to learn. We still got a little time. Right. Do I could I could do some research. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Though that laugh doesn't exactly inspire confidence. I don't feel very confident that you're going to. No, probably not. Reporting in Minneapolis, Minnesota for The Race, I'm Chris Welch. Now, you may have already cast your ballot if you're in a state that allows early voting, like here in Texas. We're in Houston right now. But if you do plan to cast your ballot on Election Day, there's a group that's making sure that you get to your polling place, and when you do, you think for yourself. Here's Nicole Val. Warms our soul when you sit up front. At this sunset service at Mission Hills Christian Church. Yeah, you're going to join us tonight? The energy is amped up. It usually is a lot more mellow, even on Sundays. Tonight, politics are taking center stage. On November 6th, this coming Tuesday, asking for the Christians in this nation to act like Christians in this nation. Our tour is called Vote Common Good. So we will support any party, any candidate that's about the common good. Pastor Doug Paget says that means traditional conservatives may need to take a leap over party lines. We're not specifically issue oriented. We are specifically values oriented. And the Trump administration has turned its back on a whole number of values. Since the beginning of October, this group has been traveling literally by the busload. They have four more stops to go before Election Day. The goal to change the minds of evangelical Christian voters. All right. We've never traveled like this. We've never done anything like this. The people that are on this tour. This Los Angeles sanctuary is stop number 27 on their campaign. And Paget is hoping church going voters walk away with a fresh perspective ahead of November 6th. It isn't about party, it's about, it's about human beings. We're not just talking conservatives and liberals or Republicans and Democrats. We're talking about the people who want to pursue goodness and honesty and civility in this country. For the race, we will vote. I'm Nicole Vowell reporting. Now, if you haven't cast your ballot already, make sure you get out and vote on election day. Then join us next week as we take a look at what happened. What, if anything, changed? Where does America go from here? But for now, from Houston, Texas, I'm Chris Stewart. This is The Race.